Hey everybody, Bill and Stace here from Bonsai Keto. Well, it's 2020 and we wanted to share with you a more inclusive list of all the things that we use from Costco because we're there all the time. Even before Stacy worked there, we were there all the time anyway. So this list will include over 60 items, over $800 worth of product of the things that we pick up at Costco. And I think it might find that it helps you if you're not familiar with some of these products or if you don't go to Costco very often, or if you're not even a member, a lot of these things you can get on Amazon too, believe it or not. So uh, you know me, I'll be linking some stuff in the description below anyway. Yeah, so stick around, see what all the things that we buy are, and there's certainly even more than that at the store. It's just this is a list of the things that we use. And this was what, three trips, right? Three trips. Three different trips, and we're combining it all into one. Now Stacy wanted to talk a little bit about the store itself. We've been extremely busy. It's hard to film in our warehouse, one, because I work there and everybody wants to chat with me. A lot of the members know who I am, so it makes it very disruptive. So we've chosen not to actually film while we're there, but we did take pictures of the products and price cards when we could. I think we're missing one. Olive oil, actually. Olive oil, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was putting it together before we did this video to uh, talk about each of these items. So we'll jump right into it. Hope you enjoy. Let's start with my favorite. Cheese, cheese. And more cheese. And more cheese. <laughs> That's Stacy's department. Absolutely. I've always loved cheese since I was a little kid. <laughs> we started off with our mozzarella cheese. This is a must-have in our household at any given time. Uh, it's the basis of our fathead pizzas. Yep. One of our favorites that we like to do. We did a how-to video that's done very well for us. It's yeah, chaffles too. I usually mix up an egg yeah. with a little bit of mozzarella cheese for a chaffle real quick. Absolutely. The other staple that we like is the queso chihuahua cheese. Chihuahua cheese. <laughs> chihuahua cheese. Yeah, Greg and Stacy at KZ Keto turned us on to that cheese. And it's definitely been a winner for Stacy. She loves that cheese. And then we do taco bowls with it. Yeah. Our little taco bowls, we use that queso. So, yeah. Yeah, it's good cheese. Good good spicy cheese. Spicy. The Mexican cheese is another one we love to do our taco shells with, the chaffle bowls with, the flatbreads with. Yeah, I've even seen Stacy use a Mission Carb Shell and make a quesadilla out of that and put in a little bit of jalapeno. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The next one is cheddar cheese. Cheddar I can handle. Cheddar he can handle. Again, Bill likes to put cheddar on top of his chili. Yep. I also put it on my broccoli. And I love to make broccoli cheddar soup with yes. our cheddar cheese. Yep. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with the cheddar. <laughs> One of the other quick and simple snack ideas that I always use, as well as our daughters love, are the mozzarella sticks. Not only are they great for snacking, they're great for homemade mozzarella sticks. Yeah, we have a video for that too. Parmesan cheese. Shaky cheese, I call it. <laughs> he does, he always calls it shaky cheese. Shaky cheese. Because you shake it. <laughs> I mix this in with a couple of different recipes that I use. Even with the flatbreads, it just gives a different texture to it. Meatballs too. The meatballs. And I love it with the Parmesan crusted pork chops. Cheese and texture of crust. That's what she <laughs> likes. Crunch is where it's at. Crunch is where it's at for Stace. <laughs> so now it's time to talk about the meats. The one nice thing with Stacy working at Costco is she can get the prime picks of the ribeyes. I know everybody. Steak. Yeah, so we've gotten <laughs> a couple batches of the ribeyes that have just been, oh my gosh, perfection. They taste amazing. I even just did a video on how I make my ribeye steak. It's wonderful. It's a great treat now and then. Yeah, absolutely. He always asks after I buy them, he says, how to build like a steak. Yes, and I love it. <laughs> the other thing I get from Costco is the chicken thighs. They have the boneless chicken thighs and there's no skin on them. I do grab some from the store that have skin on them as well with the bone in. But the, the ones from Costco are just really nice package. You get a couple in, in each package so I don't feel like I'm being wasteful. Right. I can pull out what I need. And those chicken thighs are fantastic. Another thing we get from there is regular ground beef. Now, instead of just getting a regular package of ground beef, we get the tube of ground beef, which is 10 pounds, I believe. Yes. Just knock on the window and anybody in the meat department can help you out with a tube of ground beef. 
it saves you money. Yeah, you get a better price per pound when yes. you do the, the tube. I think it ends up being 30, 40, 50 cents less per yeah. pound to do that tube. So the tube is definitely worth looking into if you're making a large amount. We tend to cook up that whole tube and put it into snapware, and then we put it in the freezers. Right. So we pull it when we want tacos, or we pull it when we want to make something. We also pick up the organic beef from Costco. That's what I use when I'm going to make our meatballs, hamburger patties. They nice. just definitely are just a really good tasting meat. I love a homemade hamburger. For a quick meal, Bill tends to do for him and Julia the, I think it's a third pound beef patty. Yep. That are pre-made. From Costco. From Costco. Just fast and easy. Yep. I like the home cooked ones. Another thing that goes along with the meat very well is the Rayos marinara sauce. We use that for our meatballs. We use it for all kinds of things, actually. I've even just made ground beef and put some rails and some shaky Parmesan cheese on it and just ate it like that because that's just how I roll sometimes. It's true. But the rails is great. For a treat now and then, and we did pick up recently here, the beef pot roast. It's got a gravy in it and it's got the beef in it. Oh my gosh, that's a really nice little treat now and then to pick up. Yeah. Stace doesn't really like that, but I love it. Next would be the roasted garlic sausage. It's kind of like a Polish, a little bit like a hot dog. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I use them on the pizzazz, the little spinning thing that cooks them up and gives them nice crust. Love that thing. <laughs> Another thing I always grab when I go in, as a little treat now and then, maybe once a month, I'll grab a rotisserie chicken. It's already pre-made. I just strip it out. I like to eat the thighs. Uh, Stacey likes the chicken breast part, so she'll tear that up and put it on a salad or something. I just like the taste of it. I know that some people have issues with that, so I don't do it very often, but I do like it. <laughs> chicken strips. Oh my gosh, these are great. We use them with Alfredo sauce. We mix it in with a little bit of like ground pepper and some garlic and some onion powder because Stacy doesn't like the texture of things. <laughs> and uh, it makes for a wonderful meal. Stacy likes this. It's already pre-cooked too. Yeah. So you could throw it on top of a salad fast and easy. Just measure out a couple ounces, throw it on top. That Alfredo chicken is fantastic. Absolutely. I also like to do a couple ounces, usually about two ounces of the chicken strips. And then I'll just do like a ranch dressing or Caesar dressing as yep. a dipping sauce. And I'm good to go. It gives you a meal because you yeah. got the protein too. Yeah. And of course, you can't go to Costco without buying bacon, right? Bacon? I buy the four packs of bacon. He does. That's the magic word of the video. Bacon. bacon. <laughs> yeah. Jesus is mine. <laughs> yeah. You know, we buy the four packs of bacon from Costco, and, and I try and ration those out to about once a week. The other thing for bacon I use is the crumbles, the little crumbles. I use those mainly in salads. If we ever do make like a little quesadilla with that uh, Mexican cheese or queso cheese, I'll throw some bacon bits in with that too. Of course, on the fathead pizzas, he has bacon. And I do have it on the fathead pizzas, yep. <laughs> That's a staple. Gotta have bacon. Gotta have the bacon. Absolutely. Oh, and then omelets too. Bill really yeah, likes that's bacon true. in his omelets. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I put some bacon crumble sometimes in an omelet meal real quick. Absolutely. Eggs. It turns out, you know what happens is I start an omelet and it ends up being scrambled eggs. So, you know, <laughs> that's just how I cook. So, I ah, usually do the omelet, omelets and he always does the uh, scrambled eggs. Yeah, so that's how that works. <laughs> and last on my meat list would be tail off shrimp. I love this stuff. I throw some in a pan with some vegetables, a little bit of olive oil, sometimes some of that Jehu's teriyaki sauce, mix that all up, cook it up. Oh my gosh, it's amazing next to a steak or a piece of chicken. It's just fantastic. You, you owe it to yourself to try these. Almonds happens to be one of my absolute favorites. I love them by themselves, but I actually really like to pair the almonds with extra sharp cheddar cheese. See, that just doesn't sound like a good combo. And I like both of those things. I just don't think I want them together. You know, and the funny thing is I would have never eaten them together, but I think my taste buds have changed slightly. Walnuts is another thing that we always have here at the house. Uh, I do a lot of baking with the walnuts. Our uh, keto mug cake has walnuts. The keto mousse has walnuts. You can't go wrong with two ounces of walnuts in your hand. Yeah, we always have two ounce snack bags of walnuts and almonds in the, and sometimes the macadamia too, if we have them, yeah. and in the refrigerator. So there's like a grab and go bag for any of us that need to grab something and go. Yes. Keeps you, keeps you honest too. Now the macadamia nuts, I have to be careful with those because our youngest daughter 
will devour Absolutely the bat. Absolutely loves them. Yes. She tried them for the first time at Greg and Stacy's with Keizu Keto. I had to keep taking the bag away from her, but I'm like, stop yeah, eating all Yeah, because it's like 20 bucks a bag, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's just sitting there eating them like it's popcorn. Yeah. And they're like, leave her alone. Let her eat them. I'm like, no. Okay, it's back to me now. And these little beef sticks, I find are fantastic for on the go. I actually grab the big pack. I think there's 28 in a pack. Yeah. And and I throw a couple in my car, throw a couple in, because you don't have to refrigerate them even. And and I always grab a good handful of them and I give them my daughter at college because I want her to have something in her backpack between classes or whatnot if she's in a rush. And, and they're just, they taste wonderful and they're just so convenient in their own little packages. Also, we found a new product at Costco called the Keto Snack Mix. This is something great to sit down with a small bowl if you're going to watch like TV or something and you kind of miss having that little snack. This will fit the bill perfectly. Also, these little cheese wisps are pretty darn good in a little bowl if you want a little snack too. Kind of an indulgent thing. Just sit down with a little bowl of those. Just measure them out. Follow the basics. Yep. Next are the folio wraps. Everybody was talking about these before Costco had them and the buzz was just crazy online about it. When we finally got them, I said, oh, we got to get them and we got to try them. Well, I'll tell you what, the texture of them, they're very slick and smooth, is not for me. I tried to do a taco in them. I tried to do some lunch meat in them. They're just not my thing. They don't taste horrible. They're just, it's a texture thing. And I normally wouldn't say I'm a texture person. But Stacy ate them and she liked them. Now onto the baking stuff for me. At any given time, we always have at least a couple dozen eggs in the house. A couple dozen? What are you talking about? Six to eight dozen at, at almost well, any time. So maybe a few dozen more than a couple. Yeah, we buy the organics, and that's what I use when I'm doing omelets in the morning. Primarily for truffles and omelets, I use the organics. Any baking thing, I do the organic eggs as well. Now, I do buy the regular eggs. Our youngest daughter, and our oldest daughter, love egg salad. And that um, eats up eggs, right? Yeah. Whenever I make egg salad, I'm usually using 8 to 10 eggs, and uh, they both love it. Kerrygold is another one of our staples. Bill uses Kerrygold probably more than I do. Yeah, I do. Every morning for eggs, I use Kerrygold. He hasn't done it in the coffee yet. He can't bring no. himself to do that bullet. Yeah, I don't coffee. do that stuff. No. <laughs> At Costco, as well as I always have the unsalted butter. We have quite a few recipes that call for the unsalted butter. So and I always try to make, it too. Yeah. So I always make sure I have that on hand and ready to go. Philadelphia cream cheese. An absolute staple in the house. Why? Fathead pizza. Fathead pizza. <laughs> That's the only thing I know we use it for. <laughs> There's a couple other recipes that also call for the Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, but uh, the fathead is the majority of our cream cheese. Well, so another two-bag staple that we have in our house is almond flour. Many, many, many recipes call for the almond flour, so we always have at least two bags on hand at any given time. The other thing that we keep on hand is the baking cocoa. We've done a couple different videos with that, mug cakes, things of that nature, so that's always good to have for a sweet treat. And one thing that surprised me is every time we would go to Kroger or somewhere, she'd say pick up some vanilla extract. And that little bottle was like $9, $12, something like that, right? Well, Costco might be a little more expensive on the initial purchase, but what you get for that price, amazing, let me tell you. It's 30 bucks and I forget. For the vanilla extract. Yeah, I forget how many ounces. But 27, it's a, 28 bucks, something yeah, like that. It definitely is a game changer when it comes to purchasing vanilla, especially if you're going to use it for more than one recipe. The Birch Benders Keto Pancake Mix is amazing. Let me tell you, when we buy that stuff at the store, we get a lot smaller bag and it costs eight or nine dollars. This thing is like three times the amount for just a little bit more. So definitely if you use that product, this is the way to go. Get it at Costco. Another thing we buy in bulk obviously at Costco is my broccoli. I have five ounces of broccoli next to a piece of meat probably at least four times a week. I like this stuff. It's super easy. You throw it in the microwave. I split it up and then I have a few meals. I do meal prep in containers and I set it all aside and then I eat that for the next couple days. The broccoli is awesome. And then I steal the broccoli to put in with my chicken and Alfredo sauce. And for your soup. And for my soup. Yep. Another thing to put next to a piece of chicken in the afternoon, for me at least, is the Caesar salad kit. 
Now, I don't use the croutons. Uh, I do use the, the dressing sparingly in there, but I really like their Caesar salad kits. Stacy does too. So when we open a bag, we get about three to four servings out of that bag. So when you're in the produce department of Costco, you'll notice everything is a little bigger. I really like their mushrooms there. I cut those up. I wash them. I cut them up. I throw them in a pan with a little olive oil. Yeah. Man, they're, they're just awesome. And the, the next thing on the list here is we grabbed and we're going to try avocado again. I don't know that we'll do another video of it, but we're going to try them again. Because I know that there's some great benefits to them, you know. And they say your taste buds change. And they say your taste buds change, so we're going to give it another try. One more try. <laughs> but there won't be a video this time. I also grab a bag of these mixed peppers now and then. I just wash them up, cut them up, and again, fry them up in a pan real quick. So tasty, so good for you. Really good stuff. We just tried this bag of cauliflower rice. I have not made it yet. My intention is to use a little bit of soy, a little bit of um, teriyaki sauce, and fry it up in a pan with some butter and see if I can replicate something close to a fried rice. It might be disgusting. I don't know. The other thing we can do is throw some salt, pepper, and butter on it and try and eat it as a side dish. And again, haven't done it yet. So let me know in the comments if you have and what you think of it or the best way to make it. Everybody knows we're not doing sugar on keto, right? So the monk fruit from La Canto is, is a great substitute. It's kind of like Swerve too. Stacy uses it in her recipes. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows I have a sweet tooth, so I tend to do more of the, the sweet treats uh, so that I don't feel like I need to go away from keto when I want something sweet. Yeah, and I've used a little bit of coffee here and there too. I actually use the monk fruit drops as well. Yeah. So it's either either or, depending on what we have most of at that time. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, with the avocados, remember how we talked about trying the avocados again, which we will do. Um, but we do use the avocado oil yes. and we do use the avocado spray. The avocado oil I use for vegetables sometimes instead of olive oil. And the avocado spray I use for things that I don't want to stick. Like if I put some parchment paper down or some foil down and I'm going to make something in the oven, like the tortilla chips or yeah. um, I don't know, anything. I could spray a little bit of the avocado spray and nothing sticks. And that kind of replaces those old canola sprays that we used to use all the time. Olive oil, can't go wrong. Use the heck out of it. I use it a lot. I do it mainly for vegetables. I'll put vegetables in a pan and mix them up with some garlic and stuff. Love, love, love the stuff. Yes, and I use it when I do the crispy chicken or the Parmesan crusted uh, pork chops. And uh, coconut oil ain't bad either. I've tried some of that in a pan and, and mixed up some things. It doesn't really have like a super strong coconutty taste to it to me. It, it's actually just pretty good. And you used it for fat bombs. Yep, I've tried right? a couple of fat bombs with the coconut oil. Uh, they always call for dark chocolate, and I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, so I haven't I found <laughs> I haven't found a really good fat bomb for me with that quite yet, but we'll see. Cilantro Lime Crema. This stuff is awesome. Again, Greg and Stacy turned us on to this from Keizu Keto. We were out there in Kalamazoo doing something, and we were making taco bowls, I think, that day. And, uh, you know, Greg's like, hey, have you tried this? I said, no, I haven't tried it. Tried it, and guess what? We're buying it at a pretty regular basis now. <laughs> I use the heck out of it. Every time we make anything that has a taco meat or a taco base or a taco bowl, I'm putting that stuff on it. I love the taste. True story. True story. <laughs> Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> we do use a lot of spices. Uh, I now make my own taco seasoning mix. Yep. And chili it's mix. Wonderful. And Bill does his chicken rub. Yep. Uh, so we always have a ton of spices. We try to get the big bottles when we can. Uh, paprika is one of the big ones that we can get from Costco. We use paprika often. The pure sea salt is something we always have on hand and goes in almost everything that we cook, a lot of the recipes that we do, and definitely a staple. And the pepper. We use a lot of pepper in this house. We are not afraid of pepper. Not afraid of pepper. So if I make eggs in the morning, I'm putting pepper and salt every day. Yes, but lots of pepper. Definitely. <laughs> and a lot of recipes too. Yeah. The other thing is the pink Himalayan sea salt. 
we have that on hand. We have quite a few recipes that will call for that. Just adds a different flavor to it. So that's pretty good as well. Not my favorite, honestly, but I, I know it's good for you and we do use it. Yeah. In the recipes, it kind of hides it a little bit. Right. So I wouldn't put that in my eggs yeah. just personally, but yeah, I wouldn't. Either. But it's not bad when she puts it in her recipe and I'll eat it that way. <laughs> Sneak it in. Minced garlic. We use the heck out of this stuff. We do. Almost all the meats that we make, we use the minced garlic and on our fathead pizza. In my vegetables, yes. all kinds of places. Every time you turn around, I'm pulling out the minced garlic. So now on to some of the drinks. We have an RO system here at home, and I love it. And we've added some minerals and some other things into that RO filtering system. So I tend to drink a majority, I'd say 80 to 90% of my drinking is water, and I drink a lot. But when we go to Costco, we splurge occasionally and we buy like the Propel Zero. I love that stuff. And I really like the way that that comes in a variety pack. So you don't get tired of one flavor. You grab one this day and you grab another one a different day. And another drink we've tried recently was the, I believe they call it Bai, B-A-I. They're pretty good too. They have a different taste to them, but it's just something to throw into the refrigerator and have as a an offering or a different taste if you just want to grab and go with something. Last on the drink list is Zip Fizz. If you haven't tried these, give them a try. Costco sells a variety pack and they're really pretty good. Yes. I'll grab a drink of water, I'll grab a bottle of water, take a few drinks first, put the Zip Fizz in, shake it up, trust me, trust me if you've never done this before, take a few drinks first, put the Zip Fizz in, then put the cap on and shake it up. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a mess like I did. <laughs> so just, you know, take that advice. Before keto, I used to be a really heavy milk drinker. Yes, you did. Every day. Every day. Had to have my milk. Had to have it. But I had strong bones. <laughs> That's true. So now I always have a little bit of almond milk on hand. Great for recipes and just to have a sip of milk. So in the health, beauty, and pharmacy area of Costco, two of the things that I use are the apple cider vinegar capsules. I like those because I just can't stand the taste of apple cider vinegar. So I'm trying to get the apple cider vinegar in, in a different form, in a capsule form. So I'm trying to do good, right? And the other thing I use from that area is Super B Complex. I take that every day as well. For me, I use the Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails. I've been using that for about six months and definitely uh, noticed a difference. Yeah, you were having some trouble with hair loss in the beginning, I think, right? Yeah, however, I find out now that it's premenopause causing the hair loss, not keto. <laughs> oh, geez. Sorry. <laughs> but it does help your hair, skin, and nails, though, right? But it does. <laughs> okay. A few staples that we have that I use almost every time I do any baking is parchment paper. I use it, too. Yeah, can't have enough parchment paper. It's great so when you're rolling out the doughs, you're, it's not sticking to your rolling pin, it's not sticking to your hands, it's not sticking to the counter. It comes right off when you're done baking. I've even used it to make bacon. Yeah. On a, on a deep well cookie sheet. Aluminum foil is also something that we keep on hand. It's great when you have to let something set up uh, and we want to cover it when you put it in the refrigerator. And it's also really nice to store things with as well. Yep, I use the aluminum foil. Their foil is thicker too. Next on my list are the vinyl gloves. Bill makes fun of me. I don't like to touch raw meat. So I use the vinyl gloves and it works well for me. I use soap and I wash my hands. I don't like to touch the meat. It's a texture thing. Okay. <laughs> but I will tell you, garbage bags. We go through a ton more garbage bags because we're cooking all fresh now. Cooking at home and cooking more real foods. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Instead of throwing out a McDonald's bag, we're making all this food and then all the waste of that food or the excess or the skins or whatever all goes in the garbage. Absolutely. They're a must-have. Yeah. And I like their garbage bags. They fit yeah. our cans well and we just go through so many of them and they're so economical compared to just going and buying a smaller pack at the store. Oh, you get ripped off at the, at the store yes, for you those. Do. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I do love Costco. <laughs> hey, it's flu season, guys. And also everybody's all worked up about this coronavirus stuff too. But basically, it is flu season. Don't forget that. Yes. So, we go through a lot of tissue in this house with the kids and everything too. 
And then when Lauren comes home, she takes some tissues back to the dorms too. I think she feeds everybody else too with the <laughs> tissues. But, Probably so. But we do go through a lot. So we buy it in bulk at Costco. We use the heck out of it. And I really like it. Yep. Clorox wipes goes right along with that. We're yeah. always sanitizing everything, wiping things down, doorknobs. When Julie comes home from school, I cringe to think of all the things that she's touched along the way. And I want her to wash her hands when she comes home from school. I know that might be a little crazy, but then I grab a Clorox swap and I'm getting the doorknobs and anything else that she touched before she came in too. Right. Just because I'm kind of weird like that. And don't forget to wipe your fridge handles. The last two things on the list for today uh, are not keto, but definitely staples in the household. We use... I think everybody's household, right? Everybody's household. Um, the Tide and Unstoppables because you got to smell good. Yeah, you got to smell good. And here's the thing. You get more for your money, more volume for the price, I believe at least, at Costco. Mm -hmm. So when we do go, we pick up the Tide, we pick up the Downy or the fabric sheets. So that's the majority of the things that we buy when we go to Costco. Hopefully you got some new ideas. You know, we did quite a few items here on these last three trips that we shared with you guys. So maybe in the comments below, let us know what your favorite things from Costco are. If we didn't cover one of them, let us know because I'd like to look for it and start using it too, possibly. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's how we all learn. So thanks for joining us. And keep it keto. Bye.